Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic and the season of Discovery. Now with the Discoverer's Delight, 100% experience gains, 300% gold from Quest, we are jumping back in to continue to answer the question, is 100% experience gains in Classic Era broken, or does it feel pretty good? Uh, we're still undecided today. Hey there. Have a good you one. guys should let me know what you think in the comments below. Is 100% experience gains too much, See you around. or does it actually feel good See you later. for a seasonal model of leveling where one might only be interested in leveling a bunch of alts? Well met. For the Alliance. Be I careful. would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Go with honor, friend. Uh, bag space is looking okay. We have a couple of pieces we could let go of. King's honor, friend. Light bless you. Uh, I think that, if nothing else, it's definitely going to eliminate the need for a lot of zone hopping. Uh, which could be really good. Eliminating the need for zone hopping could make rolling alts a little bit less tedious. You know, in Classic Era, when you feel like you have to do every starting zone on every character you roll up, even if you're a person like me who really loves to play alts, who really loves to experiment with different classes, and that's like kind of the biggest thing that I like to do in the game, uh, even when you're like that, it does kind of get tedious when you have to do every single starting zone on every single character, and especially when you focus on one faction because then you never really get to feel like you're experiencing very much different. Whereas if you could kind of alternate between the Night Elf path, the Dwarven path, and the Human path, and you know, at least for those first like three zones, have a just markedly different journey. I feel like that'd be really good for people who love to play alts. I would love to play more alts in the season and see more classes. Uh, if that ends up being the case, if we can if we can level a character without having to zone hop a lot, you know, until around level like 20 to 25, right? So at least your beginning experience could feel different each time. You need that something? would be really cool. Have a good one. And might even defeat some of the tedium that I find behind having to collect every class's runes. So we'll see how it goes. So far it feels good. Obviously we're early. We do have skinning, um, however, <laughs> in typical me fashion, I did not buy a skinning knife. And in fact, that's kind of like such a heinous problem that I'm, I'm kind of willing to uh, just totally blow my hearthstone. I know I'm a bad gamer. A and that's okay, we'll kill some stuff on the way. I really want to get skinning, uh, get skinning going early. Would be nice. Oh dear god. <laughs> and this is where the magic of editing comes in. I'm gonna do a little editing here, which I, I never do. I am like, I was 90% sure we had set our Hearthstone to Goldshire in the last episode, but we didn't. And so I'm gonna do some editing for you guys. Cut this part of the journey out. something 
safe travels. What can I do for you? Go with honor, friend. All right, we've set the Hearthstone properly. We have a skinning knife. And now we're actually ready to go. Uh, this wandering swordsman, I'm pretty sure he's just for warriors, but I'm going to talk to him anyway. Just so I know I'm not missing out on anything. Light be with you for the alliance. Yeah, we can't do anything with him. Okay. That's what I thought. Just wanted to make sure. Safe travels. How are you? See you around. See you later. Light be with you. Be careful.
Am I already forgetting to skin? I am. I am very bad. Here we go. I was kind of hoping that we'd run across somebody who was killing these. Oh, they, they are a skinner, but there's so many here that are not skinned. My theory of skinning is that like, if you want to skin your kills, you should do that right away. Or don't loot them. Uh, if you leave loot on them, then nobody else can come along and skin them. So like, if you want to farm up a bunch of stuff, you want to skin it, but you don't want to do it one enemy at a time, just don't loot them all. Uh, until you're ready to skin them. Because otherwise, some person like me is going to come along. And if you're not skinning them, I'm going to. Otherwise, it's like money laying on the ground. I'm assuming that these people are fine. That they don't need these skins. I don't see anybody like actively going after them. We already have all the boar meat, so we can head back. We did ding level 8 as well. I feel like we probably get sprint pretty soon, don't we? That'd be a nice to have. Alright, into the mines we go. It, it seems pretty active, you know? It's not, like, super crowded on this layer necessarily. Uh, and they, they must definitely have layers going. But yeah, lots of people playing.
I guess having backstab out on the stealth bar would be a decent idea. If we ever want to do that, we do have the rune that's reducing the cost of backstab. So it might be worth it, you know, we the thing is like both the runes we have right now are kind of contrary to each other. Uh, which by that I mean we can't use them both together. This one reduces the energy cost of backstab and ambush. And then the rune that we have is actually Shadow Strike, which teleports us in. And so we lose the opportunity to do a backstab. And I believe ambush has to be executed from stealth, so... They're just kind of contradictory. You, you would not want to run these two together ideally, I don't think. Well, that was too little too late. Probably won't be long till he respawns, though. And our inventory is full. Uh, we've been nearby several, several vendors. So yeah, not a really good excuse for that. But it's pretty typical. Well, we have aggroed two of them, which is not really ideal. It's not ideal. Um, we don't. We do have a potion, so I'll probably have to pop that. But I want to see if like we can survive without it. It doesn't look like we're gonna survive without it. I'm gonna pop the potion. Yeah, that would have been a big L. This is probably about the level we're going to start feeling a little bit weak until we get dual wield. Uh, which we'll unlock at level 10. Just got to be careful that if we're going to go into a fight against two enemies, having full energy at the beginning would have been best. I do kind of wish that Shadow Strike would start your auto attack. I'm not really sure 
What would be the reasoning behind having it not begin your auto attack? You teleport behind them and you hit them. So immediately the mob is going to start attacking you. There isn't really any benefit that I can see to not having my auto attack start. Like as soon as I come in, see I have to sinister strike to get the auto attack going. We really need to get over to the farm and empty our bags. Uh, we are we are done here, so yeah, actually that's that's perfect, almost perfect. Uh, the mining shovel is probably going to sell for a little bit more than the spring water. later. Let's go ahead and re-engrave our rune. All right, let's vendor first. We'll get everything turned in, and Hello. then we need to find our class trainer. Uh, I think we, we took Safe leather working, travels. correct? Yes, we did. We can go ahead and make that into light leather. We'll just, we'll just, uh, you know, I probably should have been keeping the leather, right? Like, if I want to level up leather working, which would be a good idea for this character. Yeah, yeah, it would be a good idea. It's not as hard to level up as something like engineering or blacksmithing, so maybe we could actually do it. Open for uh, which means maybe I should buy back that leather. There we go. Uh, the ore we can get rid of. We're going to have to take first aid on this character, for sure. Uh, the boar meat I'll keep so we can cook it. And that's really all we can do. Have a good one. We're, I hope we start seeing that 300% gold increase pretty soon because we're going to need bags. I'm not sure what bags I have what I do for you? available on other characters. Light bless you. Be careful. That's level nine, which alliance. seems like yeah, like we're we're ahead of the curve for here. But uh, my goal, uh, which we talked about a little bit, is uh, I'm not going to do any zone hopping. So we're not going to be taking this character to Dunmoro, Loch Madan, any of that. Have a good uh, we are going to go from Elwyn to Westwell to Red Ridge and Duskwood. Have a good one. And that is the path we're going to take. See you around. And then that leaves us free to on a different character do. Uh, 
Dunmoro, Lochmadon, Wetlands, Duskwood. Uh, what's going Safe on with travels. this? See you later. There we go. Let's go ahead and we'll go upstairs and grab first aid. And I need to find the trainer. Hey there. See you around. Now here we go. What can I do for you? Eviscerate rank two and evasion. Farewell. Evasion would have been really useful when we pulled those two mobs together. to you. See you around. Have a good one. Alright, at level 9 we should be more than ready to tackle the Murlocs. Like right now would be a good time for a little evasion. Uh, evasion might not save us here. I say that we're ready to take on the Murlocs, and then of course the first thing we do is way over pull the Murlocs. Like obviously that's what happens. If we don't die here, I would be really, really shocked. <laughs> yeah, like Robert versus Murlocs, take two. We got away with three HP. Is that gonna stand? Yeah, we got away with 3 HP. Okay, uh, let's try that one more time, I guess. Um, having some food or like anything to restore our HP at this point would be super, super smart. Like, let's open up our first aid. We can make five bandages. Let's do so. It's clear that we're going to need them. I'm going to use my throw ability here. I'm not going to teleport into the middle of these guys. That's just going to get us in trouble.
And we'll take this one off their hands. And this one. Oh dear god. Um, I don't think we can help with this. I'm worried that we're already in combat with it. They pulled a lot of them. I don't know. Like, that doesn't feel great. I feel like they're coming for us next. Oh yeah, here they come. We gotta... Oh, oh, she's running. Oh, she's down! <laughs> we gotta leash these guys. Oh, that is scary. That, that is a lot of murlocs. Alright. I think we're good. Oh no! Somebody else got killed! <laughs> um, and now we're back in combat with just this one. Oh my god, how did that guy get on that aggro chain? That aggro chain went from me, to, or to the paladin, to me and the paladin, and then from me to this guy, and like, we weren't even close to this guy. All those, all those murlocs reset and they murdered him. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I don't know, there's no way that we were responsible for either of these two deaths. As shocking as they were. Oh, that being said though, you know, we're, we are done with the quest. So it, it did kind of work out for us. something have a good one hello safe travels Do you need something Let's go drop off the invisibility liquor and then we will be headed out to the east. Part of me just wants to grind up to level 10 though. Should we should we just grind up to level 10 on stuff that we can skin? I feel like that's what we should do.
Let's go get this one turned in, that'll tell us exactly how much more we have to grind. That was a boatload of XP. Look at that. We are almost three bars into the next level. All right, that's awesome. Let's go back and train dual wield immediately. We'll have to purchase another weapon. Uh, I only have the one dagger right now, but that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we have 13 silver, which uh, while not a ton, should be enough to afford a weapon. Well, there you go. Slash played to get to level 10 is about an hour and a half. It usually takes me like two and a half to three hours uh, to hit level 10 the way that I level. Now, that being said, uh, I level a little bit more slowly than most people. But yeah, for me, two and a half hours, three hours, that's kind of the average to go from one to 10 uh, for me in my experience. So yeah, it does seem like we are progressing a little bit faster. Well met. Uh, we got a rogue quest here. Seek out SI7. Deliver Karen. Silvius's package to Master Matthias Shaw at Stormwind Barracks. Have a good one. Okay, we will do that, but more importantly, uh, let's uh, let's learn dual wield. First thing before we learn anything else, slice and dice is going to be amazing. Finishing move that increases melee attack speed by twenty percent, lasts longer per combo point, and sprint. And then we have sap, which is our crowd control. Interesting that we get that so See early on. Uh, that being said, now we are 100% broke, but that's perfectly fine, actually. We are in really good shape. Let's do that. Uh, I could probably put Gouge out somewhere that's a pretty decent, like, interrupt type deal. And Sap will have to get onto our stealth bar. There we go. All right, guys, I'll tell you what, we're going to take a break right here for now. And when we come back, that'll be a good time to head out to the east and to help uh, guard Thomas out that way. Thank you guys very much for being here. 
And for the support, if you're digging the series and leaving a like, making sure you're subbed to the channel, that stuff helps me out a lot, and I appreciate those that do. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other, and we'll see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.